Hi, I'm Jim Covington. I'd like to welcome you to this week's issue of ISBA State House Review. Today is June 4, 2015. The legislature will be in session today to work on a number of work comp amendments, and I'm going to talk to you about a number of bills that have been passed by both chambers. The procedure is the General Assembly has 30 days from passage by the last chamber to administratively transmit it to the governor, then he's got 60 days to take action on the bill. First bill I've talked to you about is Senate Bill 45, introduced by Senator Jason Berrickman of Bloomington and Representative Steve Anderson from Geneva, and adopts the Uniform Interstate Depositions Discovery Act, and it simplifies the procedures to take a deposition of an Illinois person who is subpoenaed for discovery purposes from an out-of-state court. It creates a simple clerical procedure in which the out-of-state subpoena is uh, reissued as an Illinois subpoena governed by Illinois law. And like I said, all of these bills have been passed by both chambers. The next bill is, uh, amends the Mechanics Lien Act. It's House Bill 2635, introduced by Representative Ron Sandek from Downers Grove and Senator Don Harmon from Oak Park and it allows a lien claimant to proceed directly against a bond substitute for the lien on the owner's real estate or funds. Uh, the court then may dismiss the parties other than the principal surety and the lien claimant, and defenses against the lien claimant are limited to those that could be asserted by the principal or the contracting owner. Uh, the prevailing party in an action brought in this new subsection uh, shall be awarded its attorney's fees, the prevailing party is defined as a lien claimant that recovers at least 75% of the amount of its lien claim or the principal of the bond if the lien re claimant recovers less than 25% of the amount of its lien claim. And that's passed both chambers as well. The next bill is House Bill 1337, uh, introduced uh, by uh, Representative Scott Drury from Highwood and uh, Senator Kwame Raiola from Chicago, and it implements the Vienna Convention to which the United States has been a party since 1965, 1669, pardon me, uh, it requires a law enforcement officer in charge of custodial facilities uh, must ensure that any foreign national is advised within 48 hours of booking or detention that she or he or she has a right to contact their embassy, uh, their consular officer there, and if they'd like to do that, then uh, the uh, detention center or jail will help facilitate that. That has been the law of the land since 1969, but there's been some confusion how to implement that, and this uh, creates a simple process to do it. It's a blanket admonition. Law enforcement is under no duty to investigate whether someone's a foreign national, nor does it create any new substantive right or remedy for a defendant. The next bill I'd like to talk about amends the Condominium Property Act. It's House Bill 2644, introduced by Representative Kelly Cassidy of Chicago and Senator Heather Staines, uh, also of Chicago. It makes it void as a matter of public policy if a provision in a condominium instrument purports to limit or restrict the representative rights of the board if it requires prior consent of the unit owners or to take some action or requires arbitration or mediation of a dispute between the developer or one or more declarants under the condominium instruments. It deletes some current language, providing that a provision and a declaration which would otherwise be void and ineffective may be enforced if it is approved by a vote of not less than 75% of the unit owners at any time after the election of the first unit owner board of managers. That has passed both chambers too. The final two bills uh, are the same sponsors and they both amend the municipal code. Um, and the first one is House Bill 2744, introduced by Representative Steve Anderson from Geneva and Senator Karen McConaughey from St. Charles, and it amends the municipal code to provide that it shall not be considered a conflict under the boundary line provisions of this uh, code when a municipality that is a party to a jurisdictional boundary line agreement cedes property within its own jurisdiction to another municipality not party to the same jurisdictional boundary line agreement. That has passed both chambers. The uh, next bill that also amends the municipal code, also by Representative Steve Anderson from Geneva and uh, Senator Karen McConaughey from St. Charles, uh, creates an alternative proceeding to, to take place after the expiration of a time in which judicial review may be sought after a final determination of a code violation. If a defendant has failed to comply with a judgment to correct a code violation or pay a fine, any ex 
expenses incurred by the municipality to enforce this judgment shall be a debt due and owing the municipality by the defendant. It authorizes the municipality to impose a lien on the real estate or personal estate of the defendant in the amount of any debt due to the municipality. And uh, that is also passed both chambers. Thank you for listening. And like I said, the General Assembly may be wrestling with some work comp amendments today. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.